Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 historical battle. This is Atamea 998. I have the Fatimid army arrayed against Bab Ganoush's Egyptian, or er, sorry, Bab Ganoush's Byzantines. So, uh, cataphracts and a wedge in the center, Skudato and archers, average and raw. And on the wings, Lancer archers supported by some Pechnegs. We've got Lancers, which is nice, and Berbers to keep these Pechnegs off of us. The Dailami are excellent at fighting infantry. They're not so great at fighting cavalry, certainly not cataphracts. So I think we should do fairly well on the wings, and we're going to have a ton of trouble dealing with the Klebanofodoi. They are fully armored and elite, so that's 100 BOA just for quality. Very tough troops. Well, for one thing, I want my light horse arrayed against his light horse to stop them from being a substantial factor. Then we can Let's see, if I go here, then he goes here, and then we smash into each other? Sure. This Bedouin cavalry is inferior, or at least it's only average, and protected. The Byzantine cavalry right against it is superior, armored with half bow, so we're going to have to rely on our numbers to try to get around. I want the potential of supporting our cavalry, and really, here we should be fine. We have spearmen, we have masked archers, we can fend off that cavalry wink. We might want to do here is open up our formation and allow our non-light horse archers to push on ahead. They can evade out of trouble, maybe weaken the cliffs, maybe get them to uh, chase them as they evade somewhere where we can actually hurt them. Four to four, perfect. Are we lined up? Even better. So we'll have some difficulties here. Otherwise, it just kind of depends if you can get through these gaps in my formation, that would be very dangerous. Next turn. Ooh. Now that is interesting. Okay, maybe I do want the Dailami in front then. They should be able to roll through these Kadato and Archers. It's pulling away there. Leaves a big gap. Okay, so he's declining contact along this hill. So we are going to have to rush into pursuit. That's okay, we might be able to engineer some kind of flank. All right then, we are off in pursuit. Might 
to shoot me up with disruption on one of my protected units, but I really don't care. Reduce command and control. Who the hell is in command? You're all the way over there. Interesting. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. In that case, why don't we shift here? Start off with some skirmishing. The Teilami can focus on these Kutatoi. into charge range here. How do we want to do this? I think the Gilman shift over in response then keep one in the center maybe eh, shift them all over okay so now if he moves in to shoot at us with his half bow at least we can get some bow fire off ourselves before contact Next turn. Okay, now we get shot at. It's going to be unpleasant. Leaving the patch next to cover. Keep me guessing with the quips, huh? Oh no, they're coming up now. Take mommy, can push against the Skratoi. Now that the quips are coming forward, maybe then pull you back. Good. Send them in. And we commence.
They have swordsmen. We have light spear for impact. Damn. The casualties we suffered from the early bow fire probably helped with that. Push these off and see where they end up. Eh, nowhere amusing. Too bad. what a little bit of a forced engagement can bring us. I can afford a disruption or two over here. I'm not under pressure. I'd rather take risks in order to apply some pressure myself. Next turn, yeah. Thought that might happen. Ooh, that is starting to look a little dangerous. More than a little dangerous in the stripe flank. Let's push and harass those clibs. to zone them out if they should push. Stay facing that way actually, that's good. All back. Not surprising that they hold firm, they are elite after all. Send the squishier cavalry off to the left. How bad is this? It's not great. 
All right, get out of there. We're gonna lose the whole wing. Well, if we don't break, we can flank. If we do, at least they're under wave temporarily. They hold firm. Just not that worried about the light archers. Let's see, if he goes here, he could charge, and we could bait somewhere bad, but probably not. Eh, keep the fields of fire open. Nothing good can come of that. Ugh, looking tough. Next turn on our unfolding right wing disaster. Oh, one, two, three, and he'll set up a flank, frag. Yep, there's a roll-up set up. Fall back blocking so that he can hit the frag unit and follow up into the master archers most likely. Well, that could be worse. Shielding the infantry with the lancers. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Shift over and do what you can. Good. Ugh. Send them out. We really need to get our right wing, or our left wing, into the action. He's doing a good job of keeping them out of the fray. Eventually he'll have to turn and fight. 
but my whole right is gone by the time he does, so it won't matter. And yeah, unfortunately, I have no way to push past this cavalry and get in amongst these Kutatoyan archers. We could do... let's see, this is kind of a risky move, but... There. Now we can at least charge one unit. Ah, disaster. Next turn. Very ugly. Well, let's see what we can do. Hmm, I was hoping you'd actually crash into those archers. Oh well. Hmm. Well, get in before the situation gets any worse there. Damn it. Speaking of situations getting worse. Huh. And it flanked there and there's nothing we can do. Screw it. Good.
Just too slow to get into action. It's barely getting started here and we're collapsing everywhere else. Do it. It's bad, but at least they can't fall back. Go there. Maybe we can counter charge and they smash into the archers. Next turn. Our collapse will be continuing. Yep. There's nothing we can do to prevent that. Oh, that is very awkward. That is a surprising result. It's not going to save us, but it'll help us a little bit. Break that way, please. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Can't even save that unit. Can't charge in, he would just bounce off. Yeah, this whole section's about to go. Keep them busy, please. Held firm, zone them in. Hoping for a drop on the clibs. Even disrupted their winning. <laughs> Set up a drop there. Held firm. Too bad. Pile on in. Volley of arrows, and then a charge. Uh, 
Uh, go for the assist. Never mind. Guess I should have done that first. Shove him off. That's fine. Keep them on the run. Keep moving for those flanks. I'd like to get a couple units in behind you, but it is too late to really accomplish anything by doing so. You're going to wait in reserve for the inevitable breakthrough of those cliffs. It's going to be unpleasant. Next turn. There it is, and then that roll up. Nicely done on the fallback block. Right, and lots of bad things to follow then. At least we held firm. Good. Fend them off so that we can pile in here. Do we break? No, not yet. Force a drop there. Truly fantastic units. Let's get in. Impact is bad, but melee is good. Go for it. Thank you. 
Get him out of the way. It's fine-ish, I guess. <laughs> and we'll try to creep around behind here. Ouch. Next turn. That is painful. Finally, something good. Yeah, I would want to come back either. That's nice, though. Huh. Wonder what that could lead to. Interesting. Now I can get rid of some of the talk on the top, at least. Yeah, that's fair. Zone them out. No one left over there. What to do here? Push him off. It's fine. Go here. Out of the zone of control. Fine. Go for it. Held firm despite being raw. Too bad. Go there. Bounced.
let's see if we go there no let's see we're at reduced command and control so if we go here okay and then we go here and then we can zone them in so they can't flank us Ah, I think they go that way. Hmm. Ouch. Next turn. Very nice. Yeah, good call, not facing us with the infantry. That time. Oh, they'll hold firm. see here. Well, you need to shift over, get into the real fight, push them along. Ah, what a shame. We move here, then we can force a drop. Interesting. Good. Even better. Okay. Hold, please. Very good. How is that? Mediocre at best. Shift over. We'll try to get into a flank soon. Hmm. course. Get him before he gets shot at anymore. Really? Come on. Uh-huh. Auto brake scene, I'm afraid. Is that worth it? Yeah, that might be worth it. Yeah, that was absolutely worth it. Good. How is it? Not worth doing. We can try to get behind and riddle them with arrows first. Next turn.
Any follow-up charge? No, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Bad, no rallies. Fine, in that case, break them. Follow up into the Pibano Foroi. Come on, what? Really? <sighs> okay, well, crush into them. Why don't you try harder, though? No, but why don't... Why don't you try harder, though? Great. Could charge them and see what happens. Eh, probably nothing useful. Damn. Okay, uh, never mind. Too bad that's not gonna do us any good. Uh huh. charge. What about auto brake? Nice. Well, can we do anything to save that unit? Not really. Okay, you're doomed, whatever. The bad thing. Do we dare? I don't think so. I think we need to turn this unit around and get in over there to cover against all that rampaging cavalry. Bounce and charge, why not? Okay. Messy. Still think we're going to lose, but at least we're doing damage now. Next turn. Interesting. Now that was to be expected. Huh, I would have thought he would have just locked in a fallback and then flanked them, but okay. 
Това го е. Good. Well, for starters, why don't we get in there? them so why don't you slip past there and into one of these units that's fine that way his fallback block is wasted zone them in to prevent a flank Unfortunately, hmm. I suppose we could get out of cohesion. Well, no, I don't think we can without. Ugh. One of these units is going to get flanked, basically. So we'll accept that it's going to be this one. Unless I wanted to zone them in, or you know what, that's better. Good. That's fine, we'll set up the drop next turn on the clips. Ugh. Warrant them off. Away. Is that? Uh, set up a drop. What a mess. We really need to cave in that unit. Next turn, bloodbath continues. Of course, a rally right when we're about to make contact. That was lucky for us.
Do the flank. Maybe we'll rally up though. Shift to the general off the cavalry. Maybe he's afraid they're going to auto break. Let's block that unit from flanking at least. We are down 200 POA, but we do have combat strength. Fortunately, I think this unit can still drop us, so what a shame. Good. Holding for now. Gonna have to wear them down to auto break, being elite and all that. Okay, move to shift back that way. The action is going to be. Could do this and then we might just break right away, but we'll try for it. If we can stay in contact for one turn, then we can force a drop. In we go. Wow, we didn't catch him. If I go here, then we should have the flank set up. Keep wasting time. I suppose I could just charge, but uh Okay, I have the sound bug where the music plays, even though I have it set as off, so I will save after this replay phase. Get our delicious sound back. I don't actually know if YouTube would flag me. Oh wait, now it's working. Not gonna question it. It's not really working though, is it? No. Now it's displaying the background noise. Weird. Gonna have to auto break those criminal photoi. Okay, it's saving. Okay, let's see if this is all working now. We have sound. Hm. All right. Prepare to intercept again. Go for a break here. Oh. That's unfortunate. Why don't you go for a break here then while you're at it? Well, that's unfortunate. Push on then.
Still in pursuit. Those bastards. Uh, yeah, you keep those horse archers off us so that you can hunt a frag unit, theoretically. Keep them blocked in, yeah. Damn, it really was our only chance, even if it didn't work out. Okay, the bad thing. Not yet, but soon. You go harass those Tahmata. Yeah annoying that we have to keep turning to face them. Next turn, mutual bloodbath continues. I still think he'll win this just because of the uh, better positioning and greater utility of his surviving units, this mass of superior lancers. I don't really have an answer to that. Ooh, nicely done. But at least we made it close, considering the disastrous start. Our, our entire right was fleeing, and we hadn't even made contact with our left. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is done. them off again. Well, here. Dump some arrows into them. Then head them off. Get away from this cohesion check that's about to happen. Okay, then let's see, anything left that's not horrible? Not really. Okay, now the bad things. Bad thing the first. Yeah. Bad thing, the second. And bad thing, the third. That is terribly awkward. 
And we're going to lose this unit as well. Who else are we going to lose? This light archer, that's for sure. So that doesn't quite push me to 60, I don't think. And I'm going to break these two units. What does that do for me? Not sure. Oh, if I also lose this unit, then it's game, I think. Next turn. Interesting. Yeah. I'm surprised we held that impact. Okay, well you need to get away from cohesion check range. Shove them off. Good. See what happens. They evade and we fail to catch. Yeah. Auto broken. Hold them in place and then pin them and shoot them. Ah. Unfortunately, I don't see where I'm going to get my 1% that I need. And I do see where he's going to get his. Less. Here, go for that. That'll help a little bit. Huh. Okay, sure. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it was close. It was close. But there's nowhere else I can get points. All right. Well done. And we got that GG. So. Well played again to Bob Ganoush. <laughs> 61 to 59. That's what we call close. Well, I think I moved a little over eagerly <clears throat> on the right. If I'd held that back a little longer, maybe that would have allowed me the space to make contact here just a little bit sooner in the scheme of where the lines were in contact and that could have given me what I needed. Well done to Bob reading the field, reading the armies, and pulling back where he was weaker on the right. Uh, a little bit of bad luck here too, but uh, I will say Bob Kanush did create his own luck. So before contact, 
the Taghmata, who are half bow, shot me up a bit. No failed cohesion checks, but just enough casualties to tilt combat strength modifier in his favor, which made it more likely that I would drop cohesion from losing combat. So he would, and then, as these things tend to do in fog, it kind of spiraled downhill from there, at least along the right wing, and it's his cavalry on his left, my right, that has dealt me the death blow. So, really good close game. Till next time.